it's Julia. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a pile here. My thrift store is having um, a sale on all their spring and summer items and they're two, two for five dollars. And some of the things that I looked for was capri, denim capris that I can add something to. And another thing that I always want to kind of gravitate towards, especially when they're running a sale, are lace skirts because there's just so much fabric and so much of the overall lace that is a little bit, runs a little bit higher if you're buying it in the store. And I like to add that maybe as a ruffle or different things when I upcycle. And so I got four, I believe four different lace skirts and I think about a dozen of the denim capris. I have one last weekend at my flea market shop and I'm wanting to add some upcycles for this coming weekend. And you might be thinking, well, capris is kind of, because not, not really a fall item and we're heading into fall. However, I think that they, they're really cute with boots as well. And so I'm going to try to go that route because they were running such a great sale on it. So I'm going to actually do an upcycle today um, and I hope you join me. Let's get started. For this project I have chosen a pair of the capris that have cuffs that I will be taking down in just a bit here. I wanted just to make them a little bit longer so I'm taking that cuff down. And this navy blue skirt I'm going to be using, I love the open weave on this. I think this is a wonderful texture. Um, and I found also in my stash this wonderful piece of um, Tim Holtz fabric that was actually gifted to me. It has all these postcards on it, just really fun letters. And then I have another piece of a flannel shirt that's from another uh, a previous upcycle. So it's just a piece of a shirt. I'm just going to be doing that deconstruction first and taking those cuffs down on these the bottom of these um, capris ironing that and you can see it does have some discoloration there and I will be covering that up just getting those ironed flat and then onto this skirt I'm going to be cutting that bottom lace off and I will be using this for around the bottom of of the jeans and also some of the fabric that open weave netting fabric for part of the patch patchwork that I'm going to be adding to it just laying this out I'm not going to be gathering this lace at all it's going to be flat on there but it's I'm just kind of measuring with my fingers the um, amount that I'm going to need of course I'll need two of these strips and then um, I will be just um, closing those up with a quarter of an inch seam. Just folding my right sides together, getting my, my seam done. Now placing that lace over the top of my jean bottoms. I'm just putting some pins in. Now it's on to some adding to some of this flannel. Just love this red plaid flannel and it looks just like fall to me. Campfire, you know. Just folding it in and, and pinning. I decide I'm going to just put that bottom right underneath this lace. I do have a seam or a hem already on the right hand side there so I don't have to fold that down or under it all but I do on the right hand side and then also on the top so I'm just folding and cutting and figuring out the size that I need I'm just going to be adding this to the bottom of just one of the pants legs pressing that and then cutting it to the to the size that I that I want and adding pins now 
let's on to the patchwork that I'm going to add. Just a little bit of embellishment I want to add to the top of these jeans. I'm going to be cutting out just a part of one of those letters. Just doing some fiddling here, figuring out what I want. I'm going to add a little bit of this open weave. And again, just seeing how what I like the best. And I think I decided pretty much on that one. And then put pinning that into place as well. Now I wanted to do something just totally different on this side. I'm just going to take my scissor and I'm going to cut that top leg. Just going through one layer here and I'm just going to fold that down. And I'm going to add a little bit of this red plaid underneath that. Just so it's a peekaboo, you can kind of see through it. And then adding some more pins all the way around. Just going to add one of the stamps on the, one of the postcards. Just and adding just a little bit of that textured lace. Now for around the top pocket, there's some of this flannel shirt that has some um, a hem to it. It's just the around the bottom of a of a shirt. And it already has a hem, and I'm going to cut that off. It's very narrow. And it's already finished off. And then I'm just going to add that to each of the pockets. I thought that I was going to add a, some of that red detail to the, to the top. But and like I said, it's already finished off, so it's going to be really easy to do. And pinning into place. Once again, cutting a little bit of that fabric out. Gonna add the bigger one on the on the right hand side. And this one said air mail, which I thought was really fun. And that's gonna be added right onto that right on top of that little pocket. You will not be able to use that little pocket, but it's, I'm going to be sewing through that. But I thought that's fine. Now I'm back to my sewing machine, and I'm going to, just with my regular sewing machine foot, and I'm zigzagging around the bottom of this, this lace and getting this lace into place. I have navy blue thread on here. And I wanted to share with you this other foot. I'm going to link the previous video that I did on my open-toed foot. Well, this is a darner foot, and it has that spring, and it bounces and hops. I love this foot when I am going over several layers, like I'm going over seams here, I'm going over layers of lace, and it's a wonderful foot for that. Uh, my open-toed foot is great if I, everything is level and even in one layer. But this is the foot I love to use if I have multiple layers. You can see I'm going over a seam there and everything, it just hops more. And another thing that I'm doing here that uh, uh, one of my wonderful subscribers, thank you so much everybody who, who leave me comments and, and tell me, have you tried this? And I had never tried it, but I have, I'm zigzagging. I'm free motioning with zigzag. And I, it is so much fun. It just, it's an easy method to um, put patches on. You can hit both of your jean and your patch so easily. Now I have this leg uh, underneath my open arm on my sewing machine. So I, you do not have to open the leg up on your jean. You can just slide that if you have an open arm machine. And what's wonderful about free motion stitching is I can go forwards and backwards and sideways. So I don't have to turn my, my leg at all which is almost impossible to do.
But when you have an open arm machine like this and you can slide your pants leg and you do free motion, you can go forwards and backwards and sideways without having to turn your work. And I love doing this, this with the zigzag sh stitch going sideways. It really adds a unique stitch. So now, as you can see, I'm going over several layers here, and that is one of the reasons why I love this foot. I'm doing that little detail at the pocket, the top of the pockets now, and I have my pocket, the backing of the pocket folded away, so you can still use the pocket. I'm making sure that I don't catch that bottom part in here. And now it's on to that part that I, that I actually cut a hole in the jean. And again, just using my zigzag and my free motion and just doing this unique stitch. As I go sideways here, you'll be able to see a little bit more what I'm talking about with the, the unique um, stitch that this creates. It's a thicker, more, I don't know how to describe it, but I really enjoy it. It's an easy way to fill in spaces. And now I'm going off on my jeans and just doing a, a fun little stitch. Just wanting to do some more experimenting with that, that zigzag free motion. And again, stuffing all this stuff underneath my foot. And again, what a wonderful way to this, this foot actually hops a little bit more and it just it accommodates those different, those different layers. And this is going down that folded edge on that part that I that I ripped and, and folded over. Changing to a straight stitch here. So I'm doing a free motion straight stitch going around this circle. And here's what it looks like. Really like how that top of that um, pockets turned out. And added some of the red stitching around the bottom of that, that left leg, just to add some red down there. And I included some pictures. Thank you so much everyone who's joined me today. I hope this has given you some ideas. Bye for now.